So I've painted perhaps a little bit of a mixed picture. Work can be tough. Leadership development doesn't always fix it. Wellness and well-being and all of those things actually cost us money sometimes as well. And in all of that, how on earth do you ensure some business growth? So part two now and a little bit of hope, hopefully. Because it's tempting, isn't it, to come up with new exciting models that must be better than what we had in the past. But you know what? This is the one. Okay? If you can operate at the intersection of those circles, it's a pretty happy place to be. You're doing something with purpose. You're doing something the world needs. You're doing something that you love. It's brilliant. And of course, you're paid for it as well, because we need to be paid for what we do. Now, I'm lucky I do that. I've had jobs where I don't do that, and I've left those jobs. But I was discussing with someone this morning how at different stages of your life, and remember this in your own journey, but remember this in your team's journey as well, you have different things going on. You're starting out in your career, you don't like a job, you just leave. 20 years later, you have a mortgage, you have kids, you have responsibilities, you have people depending on you, you can't just take those risks. So think about that in terms of your own team and think about the things that they have going on as well. And if you don't operate at the intersection of those circles at work and you can't change that immediately, change it in some other area of your life. Change it in the voluntary work you do, the community work you do, the connections that you have outside of work and to give you that sense of purpose, because it is possible. 